Mayor James says the U.S. Secretary of Education wants him to lead Kansas City Public Schools. Now, district officials think all this talk is for political gain. Beth Vaughn is live downtown with more now, Beth. Yeah, hey, Mark. Interim Superintendent Dr. Steve Green stood here just two hours ago shaking with frustration. He says the people that could be helping this district are instead playing politics. Mayor Sly James has the support of the U.S. Secretary of Education. He said that we need to push uh, mayoral control. During James's trip to Washington this week, Arnie Duncan unveiled new retention numbers, saying in Kansas City Public Schools, there were 2,381 students enrolled in ninth grade in 2006. And then four years later, the enrollment dropped to 912, meaning about two thirds of the students left KCPS before their senior year. The mayor's staff says Duncan called that rate the worst he's seen. I just thought it was inappropriate. Interim Superintendent Dr. Steve Green thinks that equation discredits the progress KCPS has made in recent years because the numbers crunched in Washington can't be compared to Missouri stats fairly. Our dropout rate is 16.6%. The district's accreditation is based on state numbers. Green thinks the mayor is throwing politics in the mix. We've gone three months, and there's been three months of talking going on and campaign rhetoric while we have been in-house, in the trenches, going to work. But according to the Missouri Department of Education and Secondary Education, there are stark contrasts between KCPS schools. On the high end, Lincoln College Prep graduated 95% of its students last year, while East High School graduated less than half. Green says the district graduation rate is right at 50%. Secretary Duncan thinks his equation is simple, but a good one. He says it's a good way to uh, check out the health of any U.S. school district. And according to the mayor's staff, Kansas City fared worse than Detroit and Philadelphia, two cities with major education problems. We're live downtown. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.